This is a good example of how soft tissue balancing can affect the patella intraoperatively. This patient had a patella dislocation with rupture of the ligament and here's the patella subluxed off the side of the femur there statically. In this case we're freshening up the origin of the medial patellofemoral ligament in anticipation of repair and we place an anchor in the patella. Here we're medializing or pulling on the patella trying to bring it over into the groove and it's not coming because of the static tension from the lateral side and there's too much tension here it's just gonna make the repair fail. If left untreated this will likely result in stretching out of the plication or repair and a subsequent redislocation. Here standard suturing techniques are used to placate and advance the ligament back to its origin and provide an increased medial restraint to lateral subluxation. Here we're performing a gentle lateral release. This is done much less aggressively than in days past. We preserve the majority of the tissue here but release just enough to dynamically rebalance the patella. After the release the patella comes over nicely into the groove and here we can get the lateral aspect of the patella to match up with the trochlea. Here's the sutures that haven't been tied yet. Sutures are then tied, leaving the knots outside of the joint. This allows good co-optation of the ligament back to a bony bed for healing. Here the patella has been recentered medially. It's tight laterally. The gutter that used to be easy to enter here has now been closed off. Patella is nicely recentered in its groove. Here we're looking at the cartilage with an augmented reality device, and you see flashes of red, which indicate the chondromalacia or soft cartilage, which is often seen in these patients. Here again, we have rebalancing of the patella.